out and I just go like that. If I pivot around the back, which is the tendency, I'm using the wrong end of the crowbar. So I put the weight on the front leg and I pivot this way. That moves you a little. So I just go there. <laughs> and then I pivot this way, like that. So as you hold on and don't let me move, and all I'm going to do is let go for a second. Ow. And I'm just going to tap my left hip up and down like this. Okay. And I just go <laughs> like that. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm a milkshake. If I do this, that's just pulling you. So you connect to the ground, right? Uh, like that. So I'm trying to pull you. You've got control. I switch to the other side. <laughs> now, he has a different type of connection in his body. Uh -huh. So it's not going to have the same effect that it has on you, right? right? But if I do this, right, it's going <laughs> to... It's like a James like Bond movie. and shaking yeah. like <laughs> yeah. If he tries to engage me, like now he's just holding onto my arm, right? right? So because he's just holding onto my arm, not trying to control my body, yeah. it's having a different effect. Okay. If you grab and you try to control my spine, yeah. like that, <laughs> that's different, right? Yeah. So from here, you, you grab, you hold on, control my spine, and I just, yeah. like that. If I do the complete movement, which is that, then you have this, which takes the arc like that. I open like that, and here I'm engaging, I pour it into my foot, and then I come around like that. I rotate him that way, and then I rotate him that way, and then I down like this. And now the next twist step is here, or here, or here, or there. Most people, they'll, they'll go like this, uh oh, and it doesn't work because they're pivoting around the wrong axis. Right. They're trying to do this. Right? Instead, you go here, place that foot, and then twist, like and punch. Like stronger. That. Yeah. Change the axis. What are they going to think? They're going to think it's fake, right? Yeah. Well, it is <laughs> fake. <laughs> There's the profound, the mysterious, and the subtle, as Yang Yang said. Yeah. Yeah. So, there. See that? Yeah, like, so, if that's fake, I'd hate to see real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's really good, it'll look fake. Oh. Unfortunately, if it's fake, it'll also look fake. So, who, who's to say, yeah. right? But, there. That's that. Look at that power. That. Right, and the fight's over. It's the same as you're squaring off, and I go, ha, like there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. And that depends on you being tense, of course. Right. If you do the same thing, which you are want to do, yeah. you place your weight on the right hip, and then there. Well, so much for that demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference between a demonstration and an application. Yeah. That's, that's very different. So, there. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in there. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, oof, I'm so attached to that, that particular application. Look, I'm moving. Oh, right. He's got another hand. He has two hips also. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, that's not going to work. So, if I do that, I have to be engaging the mind. I can't just be engaging the, arm. the imaginary. <laughs> Biomechanics. Yeah. If you're pushing and I intercept your proprioception, now I've created a wall that doesn't protect me from you, it divides you from yourself. It's not to protect the country, it's to divide it. I create the tension inside, you end up fighting yourself, and then I just come along and go, oh, look. Yeah. Right. Once you get a person fighting themselves, then you go, ha! <laughs> Again, people or countries, same idea. So you get them fighting themselves, and then the slightest little thing from outside will make them tense up and turn inside and start eating their own liver. You know, that's when you know when you got them, if they start to eat their own liver. Okay, that's the quote of the day. <laughs> I thought the quote of the day was going to be, no, I didn't read your damn sign. <laughs> <laughs> now it's going to be, you know you've got them when they start to eat their own liver. <laughs> there you go. So from here, if I just go like that, okay? So all that was was me going, like that. If the tension's not there, it doesn't work, so I can go like that all I want. It's not going to move you. Right. But if you're leaning on me like that, that's going to work. Yeah. Right. Which is the whole point of a lot of those demonstrations, right? The, the students have been conditioned to lean on the teacher yeah. in yeah. one way or another, either like that or, or in any of the number of ways that, are, that, that you can lean. So yeah. they've created a flaw to demonstrate a principle, mm -hmm. and then that 
principle becomes a demonstration that you use to show other people how magical you are. Based, based on a flaw. Based on a flaw. And in fact, it has about as much legitimacy as professional wrestling. But that's the thing. Professional wrestlers have skill. Yeah. They are athletes. Yeah. But it's an imaginary sport. It's not a sport as we think of it. Yeah, it's right? But it's certainly athletic. I've seen burlesque shows that have fantastic athleticism in them. Sometimes they look fake, but they're not. Mm. Do you want me to be leaning on you now? Or? No, I want you to win the fight. You want me to win the fight? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, not bad. Don't try to do a whole bunch of stuff. Just raise the heel and drop it. That will move, the, that will move the, this That's enough. That's subtle. That's subtle. Yeah. Once my weight is on the front leg, I just have to do that. So I'm just going, this moves my hip. If I try to think about moving my hip too much, yeah. I end up going back to the center. But if I use the foot to move the hip, that's simple. That's it. It simplifies it and prevents that proprioceptive chaos that happens when you try to do too much. There you go. That's it. Now do it the other way. And just go like that, like you're putting out a cigarette. Oh, like that? Yeah. There you go. As you turn the foot one way, that'll happen and then that'll happen. All the weight on the right leg. Stand entirely on the right leg. Push down with your right thigh. Yep. Relax the psoas muscle. Just engage the iliacus, not the psoas. Yep. You raise the heel, there you go, and there, there. Just a little tiny wiggle and then slam. It's the same idea as this, okay? You have this kind of punch, okay? Or this. So you have this or this. You're pivoting around that axial line. Sitting there and you pop, that's it, that's it, that was it, that was it, there you go. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Precision is more important than power. Yeah. Let me be part of your leg, and then the other leg is sort of is detached. Yep. <laughs> mm, that was good. Had a little more power than expected. Yep. That's muscle. Yeah, it was all muscle. Yeah. If you hang on him at all, it's going to go right into his other foot. So you have to pour it into your own foot and don't make it about the push, make it about the pivot. And you're going <laughs> like that, setting it up. And in fact, there's no setup. The tension is there, the engagement is there, and then it's just like that. You should end up being more balanced when you finish than when you started. Trust the heel, right? Trust that you don't have to move a lot. And don't go for distance, just go for precision. Like you only want to move them an inch. Just go <laughs> like that, that's better. Yeah, it's more jarring like that. Once you get the precision, then that's just going to pop him out of his feet. It's already connected before you drop. So now I drop my hit heel down like that. That's yeah, piercing. Isn't that? That's piercing into the bone. Yeah. <laughs> it and it was so easy for me. You okay? Yeah. Okay. So now balance it out by <laughs> wrecking his other shoulder. <laughs> trust the mechanics. This is like those guys who are, who are, who are boxing and they won't trust the punch. So they keep adding a whole bunch of extra muscle to it that isn't necessary. Remember, when you get it right, you won't feel like you did anything. You see, I always want to the army. So you have a lot of time that you're spending separating your shoulder from the rest of the body. Yeah, okay. And that strength is extremely useful to you because of all the other stuff you do, right. both for work and up at the cottage. Right. So that kind of power is really helpful. What we're looking at here is a completely different idea. And this is one of the reasons why uh, people will often say, don't do weightlifting or don't do other things because it interferes with the way that you're, okay. you're, you're structuring the Tai Chi. But you can do both. You just have to make sure that you put enough time into it and understand that the principles are different. Right? Because you keep thinking, if you keep thinking of it as muscle joint, muscle joint, it's not going to work as well. But if you think of it as fascia and relaxed alignment and then and trusting the mechanics. Right, you watch people who are punching and they're hitting the heavy bag and you know, they're colored belts in kickboxing and they're trying to hit as hard as they can yeah. and they're not trusting the punch. Right. If I feel like I'm doing more, I'm doing more. Uh -huh. But in fact what you want is to feel like you're doing less and do more. You want to work smarter, not harder. You want your punch to hurt the other guy, not you. <laughs> you want to throw the other person and be more balanced at the end, as opposed to throwing yourself at the other person. Every punch is not a sacrifice. The, the punch should be, boom, there. You, your head goes flying, I'm just standing here. Don't move.
But you were talking about the difference between the nervous system as a sense and the fascia as a right, sense. Yeah. Right? The fascia is much faster. And as soon as a signal gets transferred to the body, the muscles say, oh, that's for us. Mm -hmm. and it keeps intercepting the mail. You know, sneak it by the muscles so the muscles don't feel like they have to do anything. You activate a muscle group, it's separating that part of the body from the rest. It's isolating it. Bodybuilding isolates muscle groups. Right? And you're not doing the exercise right if you're not isolating the muscle properly. Powerlifting and bodybuilding are so different because powerlifting wants to integrate everything all together and bodybuilding wants to separate everything. Right. Start with the feeling of me moving away. Use the force and imagine that I'm already being pushed before you even drop the heel. See, the connection is doing it already. I've already got the centripetal engagement. I don't have to do anything else except sharpen the needle, meaning reducing the surface area right. that I'm engaging with. And because your weight is on this leg and this leg isn't doing anything, right, then you're already moving when I do that. Sharpen the needle and connect it see the movement happening, and then just follow it with that, make that leverage. Does that, does that sort of make sense? Keep the connection, keep me going, and then you just let the, that follow up. Yeah, that was good. So you started the movie and then you added a little extra yeah. at the end. And then you... That's it. Oh, yeah. That was excellent. My balance was a whole lot better. Like I said, I didn't really do anything. <laughs> and, and I just moved like an airship. Yeah. Now you're starting to move already. Yeah. You can yeah, feel I can, it. I can feel it. Yeah. And now I sharpened it a little more. There we go. Now there's no pressure. Right. He's already moving, and then he moves. I can. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Can you do the other side? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Push down with the thighs and relax the psoas. And if you need to engage the iliacus, that's fine, but you may not need to even do that. Yeah. And then this is going to move with this. You pivot around this axial line. When you drop that heel, you should lose contact with my fingers because your center line goes backwards. That's better. So that, there we go. That's better. You went like this. Yeah. Right? As around. opposed to just trusting that. You're trying to do a big rotation instead of just a tiny, just a rotation. That's better. There you go. How about that? Yeah. And once he's engaged, you forget about him and you just let yourself drop back and down. There you go. Just drop it. Don't even think about pushing him. There you go. If you do it right, you don't feel like you did anything because you basically didn't. All right? Your muscles aren't giving you that feedback because you're not fighting your own muscles. That's pretty neat. So I'm, all, I'm resting on your front foot right through your body. And then you just relax. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> this is smile on his face now. Felt effortless. Yeah. Very cool. So he'll be going soft, 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 then he starts to lose his balance and he just yeah. <laughs> does that. Pretty honest battle, really. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Pushing hands with Guy is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>